I'm Joe Tessitore alongside my ringside partner, Teddy Atlas. Looking forward to all the action today, and we're just about set for it. Marvelous is making his way to the ring now, and you can see how focused he is on the task at hand. Bombers coming down to the ring now and what a nice reception as he is completely focused in on his goal tonight All right, gentlemen, protect yourselves at all times. Let's touch them up. This is a 12-rounder. Here's round number one. The Brown Bomber's known as a guy who isn't going to be bashful early on. He has power, and he's not afraid to show him. Marvelous is snapped by a right move, hand. Move. Keeps his hands up defensively, protecting the head. Very nice work to the head. The right hand landed. Keep pushing. Good defensive skill. He missed with that headshot. <laughs> Gets rid of that body shot. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. Well, supposed to be fighting, but instead he's hugging. Oh, and he's got something for him himself, and it's a left hand. Marvelous, his movement helped out there. Come he on. avoided that punch. <laughs> Parries that punch away. Blocked by Marvelous. That's a flush shot, banking away those body shots with the left hand. Good job protecting himself. Unable to score with the hook. Final 10 seconds of round number one. Blocks away that head shot. Can you believe that? What a change in momentum. He just got rocked. Moments ago, he was the one hurting his opponent. Reminds you of the song, I can do anything, you can do only better. 
keep him up. Listen, he's gonna come forward this round, all right? Keep that jab moving. Keep him away from you. Listen, I want you to pick his jab. That's right, pick his jab. When he throws the jab, where's your body working? Hit the body. Start of a new round. The Brown Bombers making it look like the start of a fresh fighter. Remember, he was stunned in that last round, but Teddy, he looks fully recovered now. Well, it tells me two things. One, he has good genetics. He recovers fast, you know, physically. But it also tells me he had a good camp. He came here in great shape, and he's getting the benefit of that right now. Watch the hook! Parries that punch intended for the head. Defense upstairs to stay away from that offensive assault. Marvelous is feeling the impact of that powerful hook. Well played, straight right hand. Early on in this fight, one of the things I'm going to look for is who's the more well-rounded fighter offensively? Who can do it all with all their punches? Well, you look for that in any sport, in any profession. You know, you look at a quarterback, you know, in football, the great ones, they control deep, but they control the short patterns. They control the outs, the in patterns. Same thing with a fighter. That's a good hook to the body. The Brown Bombers defense is paying off now. What about his opponent in a spot like this? I mean, here you got to your guy earlier, you did some damage, but now he's fighting with such a defensive style, it can be frustrating. Yeah, it can be, but you have to make the adjustment. You're going to deal with styles like this. This is part of your education, part of your development to go up that boxing ladder. Now you have to find a way to get to him while he's being defensive. Still use your jab, you know, close that gap, put your punches together more, and start banging that body a little bit extra. Final 10 seconds of round number two. Back to the body. Trickle, trickle, trickle. Right don't stand in front of it. Hey, don't waste the energy. Keep doing what you're doing. Keep the jab pumping and throw the lead right hand, all right? I mean, you are winning this fight. Nice work. Nice work. You're doing well. And round number three is underway. Good-looking right hand after he got hit. Oh, and they decide to trade there. Nice. Bomber. 
Nice job there, hooking to the body. Oh, what a huge power punch. Look at this, another power punch able to land. We're early on in this fight, he's going for it. Yeah, you wonder if he's got a call waiting outside. I like that step back right there. Just enough to be out of danger, but still close enough to then lay in the counter punch. Well, that's what happens when you have that kind of experience. You're calm enough to know that range. Know where the beginning of the punch and the end of the punch is. Keep moving, keep moving. Fine work with the left hand. He landed well by Marvelous. Beat him to the punch! Nice strike after catching one by the Brown Bomber. <laughs> Trying to go downstairs, but off target. Oh, you're doing great! And now he's acting like a fighter. Coming back with the right hand after getting scored upon. Gets rid of that. It was intended for his huge right hand comes crashing home. Just keep working and this is your fight. Don't get lazy out there, all right? Don't get lazy. You're winning this fight. That was good. Yeah. Nice work. Beautiful. Beautiful. You gotta keep that head moving. I wanna see the. Okay, listen to me. When he misses you with a punch, counter. Counter. Our first chance to take a look at Teddy's scorecard here as round number four is underway. Marvelous is in control so far, two rounds to one. Still anybody's fight. I think he's been the busier guy, though. Yeah, he has been the busier guy. And also, he's been the better real estate agent. You know, location, location, location. He's been in the right position for his style. He's been in... The Brown Bomber! Big, big shot comes crashing home. Just a thumping body shot puts him down. He went down from a big shot. Now he's got to have some big guts to move along. You're going to find out exactly what he's made of. He needs to improve the accuracy a little bit. That was comical by Marvelous. Dismisses his opponent's headshot. Get out of the way from those punches. Move your head. The Brown Bombers defense. Is it ever good? Look at how easy he's able to block those punches. 90 seconds to go in round number four. The Brown Bombers' effort has been admirable, but I don't think he's getting the results he would like to get here. He's tiring himself. Yeah, what I think is starting to happen here, Joe, we saw him throwing a lot of punches, but not real effective punches. I'm wondering now, he's ahead right now in this part of the fight, but I'm wondering if he's getting discouraged because it didn't have the effect on his opponent he wanted it to. How about 
to return the sender with the left hand. Back to the body. Keep going. Not much action as he nice just ties work, up. Nice this is excessive holding we're seeing here now. Good defense just covering up down low. Looking good. <laughs> Ten seconds to go in this round. Marvelous, his knowledge of the game is showing through. Three ways to defend, one of them is to block. He did it there well. So he scores a knockdown in the last round. Now he gets to settle down and gather himself for me. Do you go after it? Do you get super aggressive here having had your man hurt? Or do you still have to employ a certain amount of caution? It's kind of like being at the carnival. You know, you just you just hit the bullseye and you got that big, big stuffed animal you can give to your wife or your girlfriend. But now he doesn't want you to go away with that. Oh, no. No, no. no. He tells you, wait a minute, try again. You could trade that in for something either bigger. But you might lose the one you have already. That's the question. The Brown Bombers back. Look at him here in the start of this round. Remember, he got tagged hard in that last round. Well, that's the reward you get when you have a good camp and you get yourself in top shape. Well, I don't know if he's hip to the idea of becoming a counter puncher, but I get the sense you'd agree with it. Yeah, definitely. I mean, he's got the perfect platform, the perfect form for it. The guy's walking in right now, not moving his head much. He can time him, he can counter him. Keep working the jam. Good, good. Nowhere close that punch by Marvelous. And now just wasting everybody's time holding on. hit right there but he also gave one solid effort by the brown bomber halfway into round number five here that's what i want to see marvelous has given us a good showcase of defense here tonight especially up top his head movement is just sublime and his opponents cooperate with him a little bit because he's getting frustrated he's looking for that big shot and he's continuing to miss he's making no adjustments a guy's moving his head you know what you want to do a little bit what's that well you want to feign him a little bit make him make a premature move and then when he moves to either side then you time him with a punch don't just go out there flailing away The Brown Bombers missing the mark by a mile. That just was nowhere to be found. Keep working, bud. Keep it going. Final 10 seconds of this fifth round. It's all right. Just keep moving. 
this round is in the books. And it looks like the gas tank on this fighter may be heading towards empty here. What is this, a case of guys just not putting in the road work and the conditioning prior to a fight? No, you got to figure he came in. His weight was good. Scales don't lie. We looked at the weight. He came in pretty good condition. I think what it is is now he's starting to get broken down a little bit. Physically and mentally, the other guy is starting to impose himself on him. Pace yourself, okay? No wild punches. Pick your punches. You gotta watch the water in the corner. Too much. The start of the sixth round. He took a shot, but he gives one of his own. A left hand scores. The Brown Bomber's giving his opponent headaches here now. He's throwing punches, but he's able to block them away. <laughs> Marvelous has got a way of just getting away from that punch. There you go. Good block by Marvelous. Marvelous is doing something that not everybody appreciates, but he is making his defense a major factor in this fight. Yeah, well, a lot of times people, you know, they only get it done on one end. What I mean about that is, you know... He falls victim to that big hook. Finish him off! Move your head! Keep it up! And you can see he wanted to do that as he holds on there. That's it, just like that. Reaching the halfway point of round number six. You got this one. And now just wasting away some time with that clinch. Marvelous is able to avoid that punch. Great stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. Distance. Gotta love the work by the Brown Bomber. Okay, go, go. What a difference from corner to corner. As he sits on his stool, he knows that he is in complete control of this fight, peppering his opponent with power shots. Well, it's been like that all night long. Anything he throws, Finds a target. Okay, breathe now. Deep breath, deep breath. Holy shit, you are in control of this fight, man. Don't get careless out there, right? Just just keep boxing smart. He's almost done. You had him now. Well, the ability to adapt, so important. Who can make the changes now as we're halfway through this scheduled 12-rounder? Watch that! Able to get away from that headshot with the block. Jump on him! Nice! He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect.
Able to show you his blocking ability. <laughs> He's tight. He's tight. Marvelous is in a good rhythm defensively here. Teddy, what is that, a credit to his ability to anticipate? You know, also, it's the teaching. Let's give the trainers credit. Of course, let's give his background of damages credit, but he learned how to get away from punches. This is technique that was taught to him. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. Halfway through the seventh round. holding not able to connect with the uppercut head and body head and body Brown Bombers finding out right now that this counter-punching style is not getting the results he needs in these middle rounds. What is the answer? Well, when a guy's not coming in and walking in, you can't counter-punch. I mean, he's not, he's not giving you the kind of turf that you need. Now you have to find a way to create your offense, to lead a little bit. That starts with the jab, getting off first. And that's the end of round seven. Fucking beautiful. That was... That was fucking amazing. I want another round like that. This is your fight, okay? You're in complete control of this fight. Listen, he's done. He is done. Listen to me. Your best defense is to throw more punches. You need to throw more punches. That will keep him away. This has been more of the same as we start round number eight. Marvelous has been on top of things from the opening bell throughout, leading on your scorecard every step of the way. Well, his opponent is fighting like he has Velcro attached to his forehead. I mean, he's just, the punches are sticking to him. He's catching everything. One, two. See, he's got his guard up really well that time, and it protects his head. And he just holds on there. Blocks that belt line well. Move your head! Get in there, let's... Must be the punch of the day. Both guys bringing home uppercuts. A power shot lands, and all of a sudden it turns the table. A little slow with that jab, and he got caught the right hand. Keep moving, keep moving. The halfway point of round number eight. Beat him to the punch. The Brown Bombers got to be careful here, Teddy, because he can't stay like this. Yes, he's throwing punches, but not being effective at all. No, he's not. He's not landing. And 
<laughs> That's bad for the scorecards, but as he continues doing this, it's going to be bad for his chin oh, because great. he's going to start now getting counted. As time goes by, the more he misses, now his opponent's going to start doing the other part. He's going to come back and take advantage of those misses. Not hitting his mark there going upstairs. Clock counting down here in round number eight. Ten seconds to go. And round eight comes to an end. Marvelous is in a position now where he should be able to bring home a win. If things stay the way they are, he's clearly headed towards a win. Yeah, I have my head on my scorecard, but he has to make sure he doesn't like in football go into that three-fat defense. If he starts just moving, just staying away a little bit, now the things that were keeping his opponent from coming in that front door, well, guess what? They're not there no more. His opponent could get back into this fight. He seems fully recovered to me. Here we are, the start of a new round, and a fighter that got tagged hard in the last round seems as fresh as could be. Well, when you push a fighter, when you push a human being to a dark place, that's when you're going to find out what's bright inside of them, what's great inside of them. And he's responding just that way. Protecting his head well with his guard. His opponent wanted the body. He wouldn't give it to him. to improve that accuracy miss with the headshot in and out. In and out. staying away from those headshots with his defense up top <laughs> not able to land the headshot halfway through the ninth round right back at him with a left hand marvelous is doing exactly what he told us he would do now he was stunned earlier in this fight but he's sticking to that game plan you know i like that you know i want to see how a guy behaves under pressure he hasn't panicked you know he still believes in his identity believes in his talents his abilities and he's going to stay that way unless the guy convinces him later on at all by Marvelous. He's showing what a skilled fighter he is with the counterpunch. Well, the old times used to say when you come in there, when you're in control in there, you can make him do what you want. He made him tie his shoelaces right there. Oh, this is a wipeout. You're winning this fight. Just keep doing what you're doing, and you got this. Just, just keep doing what you're doing. You 
You need to move your head more, okay? Side to side. Lean to the side, then boom! Kind of punch, kind of punch. I need you to throw more punches. Body, bang! The body! Hit the body! As another round gets underway, it gets us thinking how much more of this will we see? Hard to envision this fight going the distance with how lopsided it's been. Blocks the headshot. Keep doing what you're doing. Resting good. Good job staying away from the danger there. Way to protect the midsection. <laughs> Halfway through round 10. <laughs> Unable to score with the hook. Finish with the hook. Gets rid of that effort. The Brown Bomber's not showing that he's got a great IQ when it comes to ring generalship here. He's just stationary, not much movement at all. No, not at all, and it's feeding right into his opponent. He knows where to find them and where to find them at all times. He needs to get on those legs a little bit and start changing a little bit of his placement here where he is. He's always in the same place. Final 10 seconds. Come on! And round 10 comes to an end. More, okay? You're leaving yourself open too much. Cover up. Listen to me. You're not giving me enough punches, okay? Throw more punches, jabs. Championship rounds are here. The Brown Bombers trailing on your scorecard by a significant margin. He has to go for broke at some point, doesn't he, Teddy? Yeah, you got to think right now to him. You got to say, forget about today. Think about tomorrow. It's tomorrow. You tell your fighter, it's tomorrow. What kind of day is it? Because what you do in the next few minutes will tell that story. Body shot. Work the body. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. Double up on your punches. Keep your head moving. 
nice block. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. Showing you some defense there with the block. <laughs> Halfway through this 11th round. <laughs> Able to dismiss that body shot. Get him, get him. Focus, relax. Unable to land clean by Marvelous. Nice block that time. It was intended to the head. but he sends it right back. Last 10 seconds of this 11th you round. Yeah. Well, as that round comes to an end, it gives us a moment to kind of reflect on this overall fight. And Teddy, my thoughts are pretty clear cut. This is the kind of fight that just takes on a personality of its own. This is an all-out war. Yeah, this is kind of like watching a guy who's not on a budget. You know, he's spending with both hands. You know, when he goes home, he's gonna have no money in his pockets. And when this fight is over, these guys are gonna have nothing left in the gas tank, and it's probably not going to a decision. You've got it. They put forth a good effort throughout. Now one more meeting. The final round is here. Keep those hands up. Keep moving. The Brown Bombers way off the mark. That punch didn't have a chance. Use the ring. Use the ring. Able to cover up that gut. Come on, kid, focus. There you go. Move your head. A headshot blocked. One, two. Come on, kid, focus. <laughs> Halfway through this 12th and final round. <laughs> and now we got a fight. He fires back a right hand of his own. Just a minute to go in this bout. <laughs> Able to counter that attack. Move your head. He's tired. 
tight. He's tight. Good block by Marvelous. Marvelous is throwing a lot of punches right here, but not a lot of them are landing. And that can be very discouraging to the guy who's throwing them because he's working, but he's starting to get a little frustrated, a little concerned that he's not doing damage, as you said. So two guys who everybody thought had no chance of hearing the final bell now wait for the judges scorecards uh, explosions early on but later on just a little tap dancing a well-deserved win by marvelous unanimous decision say the judges you're gonna have your eyes closed and see that one, or almost close. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Have yourself a great evening.